<laughs> What's happening again, guys? You know, there's actually a theme for today's videos, and that's, oh, what the f***? Seriously. Starting out with this creepy, satanic, Louis Armstrong bobblehead doll. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, Ray, that thing just has low batteries. Bullshit, that thing is here to fucking molest me. I mean, did you see that face? Louis Armstrong doesn't make that rape face. I mean, what if you walked into a jazz club and Louis Armstrong was on stage making a face like, Hello, where all the white bitches at? Now that video got 30,000 views in about a year and a half. And, and thank you, thank you guys for sending that to me because, you know, I didn't want to sleep this week or anything. Fucking thing's gonna haunt my nightmares. Oh, and, and props to the lady whose idea it was to film this thing and put it on YouTube. But a quick message to her. I think you left your weed on the table there. But I guess you would need to toke up all the time after seeing that creepy fucking thing in your living room. Hello. Now this next video is actually from late last year. I wanted to review it then, but I didn't have time. But it's great, you'll like it. It has three million views. So there are these guys watching this girl dance here in a bikini. You know. Typical internet behavior. But of course, that's not the good part. The good part is when the girl approaches the camera. What's up? What's up, guys? <laughs> you guys are so gay. Now, I love this sh mainly because the guys watching the bikini dance there, they were all mesmerized like they're fing Louis Armstrong. And then the dude turns around and calls him gay, which is hilarious because you know they left the room thinking, Oh my god, dude, are, are we gay? I swear to god I had this boner before we clicked on that video. And yeah, I know what you guys think. Actually, I do know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, what a douche, what a fag. Because according to you guys, everyone on the internet is either a douche or a fag. And we appreciate that. No, but you're probably thinking, Ray, why is Jesus there dancing in a bikini? I don't know, for your sins? I don't know. But I do know that you gotta go watch the whole video because he pranks other people and it's hilarious. But admittedly, if that had happened to me, I think I would have handled it a little differently. Hey, bitch, I didn't say stop dancing. All right, now besides all that, that's not the weirdest part. Here's the weirdest part. The guy's channel says his name is Steve. And I swear to you, I've met Steve before. Not like at a tranny bar, but no, in real life. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but is that true, Steve? Do we know each other? Well, regardless, Steve, I think I speak for everyone here when I say, nice ass. All right, so this video was kind of blowing up this week. It got over 700,000 views, and it's just a girl in a cell phone cam. Because I don't have a boyfriend, so I've kind of been wondering what's wrong with me. All right, fair enough. Normal enough. She's a girl with a cell phone cam. She doesn't have a boyfriend, so she's going to make us a little video. Do you like me now? Do you like me now with all this makeup on, huh? Do you fucking like me now? Do you like me now? Am I tan enough? Two plus two, gonorrhea. I told you, didn't I? I told you all the videos today would make you go, ah, oh, what the f Now to the girl in the video, sweetheart, you don't have to do all that stuff to get a guy to like you. All you have to do is the dishes. All right, look, let's, let's be serious here. If you're a girl, it's not hard. It's not difficult to attract a guy. Look, Steve here did it and he has a fucking penis. I mean, it really is that simple, guys. And you guys would notice these things if you would stop spending all your time fucking planking. Yeah, pardon me, side note here, planking is the stupidest shit. If I walk around town and I see any of you planking, I swear to God I'm gonna run up and punch you right in the dick. Any whore, I think everyone's favorite part of this video is that little mathematical equation she has for STDs. What's two plus two? Gonorrhea. You know guys, I, I, I actually did the math and she's right. But if you didn't already know, this video is faker than a Jersey Shore suntan. It's actually a performance. This, this little girl is giving a socio-political performance. Look, she's satirizing what guys look for in girls and I think she did a great job. In fact, she did a good enough job that plenty of people believed it. Hell, even those gay guys thought it was real. So to that I can honestly say, 
Good performance, girl. Hats off to you. Keep on trolling with those socio-political messages. Oh, uh, guys, real quick, side note before I forget. I actually made a Google Plus account. I resisted for a while, but then I had to make one because people are making fake ones and Google is too f***ing stupid to take the fake ones down. So this is my Google Plus account. I'll also put it in the, uh, the info bar below. So if you have a Google Plus account, then add me. We'll have a good time. And other than that, I'll see you guys in a few days. Oh, but uh, don't forget to check out the comment question of the day, which comes from a user named BAM. And he said, So tell me, guys, if you made an adult film, what would you name it? Oh, this should be good. So if you made an adult film, what would you call it? I'd call mine Rape Face. Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comment section below. Or on Facebook or Twitter. Or Google+. Plus. <laughs> but thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3. I'm Ray William Johnson, and as always, I approve this message. So tell me guys, if hot dogs aren't sandwiches, what is they? Hello! Two plus two, gonorrhea.